Today, we're going to be learning about the product rule for exponents. The product rule states that when two powers are being multiplied together and the two powers have the same basis, then all you have to do is add the exponents together and keep the base the same. So in this situation, as you can see, we have two powers that are being multiplied together. Also, the two powers have the same basis. Therefore, all we have to do is add the exponents together. Our final result is two to the exponent five. Let's try another example. So in this situation, we still see two powers being multiplied together. As well, the two powers have the same basis. Then we can use the product rule for exponents. So all we have to do is add the exponents, three to the exponent four plus two. And of course we get three to the exponent six. What's interesting is that the product rule for exponents applies for situations where we throw variables into the powers as well. So in this situation, all we have to think about are the two conditions for using the product rule. Condition number one is that the powers need to be multiplied together. Condition number two is that the powers need to have the same basis. Now, as we can see, both conditions are being fulfilled here. So all we have to do is add the exponents. What we get is p to the exponent 2 plus 2, which is p to the exponent 4. So let's look at a few more examples. In this situation, we have two powers being multiplied together. We have both bases being the same. So of course, nothing changes for this. All you have to do is add the exponents. What you get is 2 to the exponent q plus 3. Since we can't simplify q plus 3 any further, we can just leave it at that. Over here, we have 3 to the exponent h multiplied by 3 to the exponent h. And of course, we don't need to get confused just because we see variables where the exponents are. All we have to think to ourselves is, number one, we have two powers being multiplied together. And number two, the powers have the same basis. Therefore, we use the product rule. Of course, three to the exponent h plus h is equal to three to the exponent two h. Great, so now let's look at a general example. Here we have x to the exponent a multiplied by x to the exponent b. We think to ourselves about the two conditions. Are the two powers being multiplied together? Yes. And are the bases of the two powers the same? The answer for that is also yes. So in this case, all we have to do is add the two exponents together. What we get is x to the exponent a plus b. So the product rule is pretty simple, but there are situations where people tend to make common mistakes. Let's go over one of them. When you're being asked to simplify this over here, it might be very tempting to use the product rule. But we have to remember that there are two conditions that absolutely must be met before using the product rule. Condition number one was that the two powers must be multiplied together. And right off the bat, these two powers are not being multiplied together. They're being added together. So even though the second condition does apply, as you can see, the two bases are the same, you cannot use the product rule in this situation. So to make things very clear, two to the exponent two plus two to the exponent three absolutely does not equal two to the exponent two plus three. In fact, this over here is equivalent to two to the exponent two multiplied by two to the exponent three. So if we simplify the left side over here, we get two times two plus two times two times two. That equals four plus eight, which is 12. If we simplify the right side, we get two times two 
times two times two times two. That ends up simplifying to thirty-two. And of course, thirty-two and twelve are not equal to each other. So adding powers together has nothing to do with multiplying powers together. As soon as you see two powers being added together. You should know right away that you cannot use the product rule for exponents in that situation. So to close out our video, let's just review when we can use the product rule for exponents one more time. There are two conditions that must be fulfilled before we use the product rule. Condition number one states that the two powers must be multiplying with each other. And condition number two states that the two powers must have the exact same basis. And of course, given that the two conditions are met, we can simply leave the base alone and add the exponents together. So there you have it. Now you know how to multiply powers with the same basis.